Why are you guys trying to show us up in front of the chief? Ha! Show you up. That's a good one. Why would A shift care what chief thinks about D shift? Because we're his favorite shift. That's, yeah. right. That's ridiculous. We're the A shift. A. The letters don't mean anything, guy. They just exist to identify the different shifts on the rotation schedule. But I guess only a first rate captain would know that. <laughs> oh, yeah? You don't cobra me, Dakozy. I cobra you. Well, maybe I could convince Uncle Terry to rethink this whole letter system to more accurately reflect that we're his favorite shift. After all, I'm like the son he never had. Not after I rip your dick off. It's okay. All right, let's just settle down with the dick ripping. Listen, sorry to break it to you, but my crew, we just got that something special. In fact, if they were to make a show about Station 24, We'd be the stars. Maybe on basic cable. <laughs> <laughs> on a network nobody watches. The <laughs> has three layers. I call it the scent pyramid. The top layer is the head layer. Hello, how are you? Just introducing myself. The middle layer is the heart layer. Now I love you. Please write me letters. The base layer is the bottom. The foundation. Everyone runs to it, hugs it, loves it. Pour that concrete, bitch. Now, if you spin this pyramid upside down, it becomes a cone. Smell cone? I call it the slush puppy of love. Put anything you like into it. Cinnamon, great. Aphrodite's hairdos, fine. Lethal weapon, three, four, not five. Dump it in, dunk it in, suck it up, buy it. Gosh, scheiße. What the hell? How does this even happen? Single puncture wound to the abdomen. We need to stop this bleeding ASAP. Don't help me. Help the dummy. Make sure he's OK. I'm just going to grab it. Never Ooh. move an injured person. He's right. Ike, it's not alive. Does the blonde old mouth come out? Watch it, dummy. Both of you, stop talking to the dummy. Sir, what happened here? It was an accident. Isn't it obvious? He stabbed himself, and now he's trying to blame me. Why are you holding the knife, then? Ike, stop talking to the dummy. His pulse is dropping. Lucy, get the heart monitor ready. Help my dummy. Don't get agitated, sir. Give him CPR. He needs CPR. Ike, I need this guy to calm down, OK? Give the dummy CPR. What? Tell him it's going to be OK. Yeah, he's, it's good. It's going to be OK. Ike, give the dummy CPR. Andy, talk to the dummy. I don't want to talk to a dummy. Lucy, hand me the lead so I can hook this guy up. Hey, dummy, everything is going to be OK. Ike is my friend. He's going to give you We're CPR. performing CPR. It's yeah. Fine. It'll be okay. Go, 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 go. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I love the knot hole. Oh, the knot hole. The knot hole. Relax. Stay relaxed. He's gonna do it again. Relax. I need both of you. What in the horrifying fuck? I don't know. Oh my god, we're losing him. Lucy, prepare the paddles. Oh shit. Pinch is dead. Mm. Yeah. Give it a pinch. It'll wake him up. What the hell? Oops. Sorry, you guys. The malfunction. He's still alive. No shit. <laughs> he almost pinched his dick. I was not going to pinch his dick. You were close. I'm just going to take the knife. Touch it and die! I'll tell you something about firemen. On any given night, any given day, they're always firemen. Did you just come up with that? Backdraft. 1991. You know, Kurt Russell, Robert De Niro, Rebecca De Mornay, Billy Baldwin, Jennifer Jason Lee, Donald Sutherland. It's that Ron Howard joint. I've seen it 211 times. It's a masterpiece. I can recite the entire thing front to back. No, I've never seen it. Oh, oh there she goes. That's a good one. Yeah, no, I've never seen it. You're serious? You've never seen Backdraft? Seriously. You've never seen Backdraft? OK, well, good thing I have it on my phone. Let's take a little break and watch that movie. Oh, hey, Chief. I want to preface this by saying I would never complain because I'm the rookie and your daughter, but um, I thought you said tonight was going to be crazy for all of us. Yeah, it will be. But hold on, and, uh, look, I do want this to sound more sarcastic than whiny, but I'm still mopping floors. All right, well, it sounds whiny, but that's what probies do, Lucy, OK? Trust me, I've been doing this a long time. Just be ready. Cool. <laughs> Fire, it's a living thing, Brian. It breathes, it eats, and it hates. The only way to beat it is to think like it. <laughs> It's Robert De Niro. It's a very good impression, by the way. Backdraft, he's in the... Is that one of the actors? <laughs> That's so good. Uh, here, just give you that. Uh, what's this? It's the information for your sexual bias training boot camp. <laughs> what? Since I got here today, you've objectified me. You haven't really learned anything. You've been trying to pick me up pretty much all day with your non-flirting flirting, the cooking, the dancing, and now you're gonna 
ask out your sexual bias instructor? I mean, it's a little crazy. I feel like I did an excellent job of not hitting on you. And for the next four weekends, you'll learn why that's wrong. So I'll see you at the boot camp. Yeah? Wait, Courtney. Me. You know that Terry let me kick him out of his office without putting up a fight? I'm sure he had his reasons. Oh, I'll tell you his reasons. No balls. Well, he's got a ball. One ball. He's got a ball. Eddie Jr.'s got a ball. Between them, they got a pair of balls. Enough! Terry lost that nut saving my life. And Eddie lost his nut the second time I saved his life. Terry's a great chief. There's no one I'd rather report to. And Eddie's a great captain. His crew loves him. And there's no one I'd rather be in the trenches with. You know, when I showed up at work today, I saw a chief and a captain who love to throw each other under the bus. Neither acting like a leader. So I devised a plan to make me your common enemy, hoping that you'd band together. And look what happened. You're acting like a team. Looks like I did my job again. You're supporting each other. You'll be better men now. You're welcome. Oh! <gasps> you want to get out of here? So you'd never ask. You got room for a hot dog? As long as they soak it in water. <laughs> it's gross. What is happening? Two things. You're paying for dinner. And I'm Eddie Panizzi. Eddie Senior. Son of a bitch.